Hey guys, welcome to my iOS guide. Today I'll be talking about the most important features that you can find in restrictions on your iPad. Restrictions enable you to lock or unlock different contents and have a better control on components of your device. So to get started, tap on settings. Once in settings, you want to go to general, which is on the left here. Once in general, tap on restrictions and choose enable restrictions on the top right you will be asked to put a passcode in i would definitely suggest to use something quite simple because you, you will be required to use that passcode every time you want to change the settings so for today i'll be using one two three four you've got to re-enter the passcode to confirm so as we can see here we've got a set of menus and apps and um, if you do uncheck the switches on the right here you won't see these apps anymore onto your home screen so I'll give you a very brief example of that if I do turn off Safari and I go back to the home menu you will see that Safari is not on the left of the screen anymore and if I do go back to settings back to restrictions I enter my password and turn Safari back on you will find out that Safari is back on the menu. It is a very handy um, tool if you do want to prevent you you, you want to pre prevent access to kids, especially if you don't want them to go on the internet. That'll be a great feature to keep in mind. If you do scroll down, we have contents. These are most likely ratings for movies, TV shows, books, and music. Some of them does have mature content, sexual content, as well as other adult content. And if you are providing an iPad to a kid as a gift, you might want to change these settings to prevent inappropriate content to come to these kids. So to begin, I'll give you a quick example on movies. If you do tap on movies there, you've got a list of ratings that you get to choose from. Um, for example, if you do leave ratings G only or PG, the user will only have access to this type of content that matches this type of rating. Back to restrictions, you've got privacies and um, privacies are most likely for third-party applications for example if you've got a third-party app such as viber or whatsapp which are calls application they work similar as skype they do require access to your contacts to perform normally so if you don't have any if you don't want any of these applications to have access to your contacts or calendars or reminders you can just go on them and tap on don't allow changes then down the bottom we've got changes for accounts um, and volume limit into accounts you can actually prevent any type of modification to happen from your contacts mails and calendars so if you've got a business mails very important contact list um, or any other important events in your calendars that you don't want to lose or you don't want anyone to go and erase them by mistake you can tap on don't allow changes and this will prevent any modification from happening unless they've got the four digit password that we've used earlier so back to restrictions here we've got volume limit volume limit is most likely um, for headphones users if let's say for example if you don't want your kids to blow their ears off <laughs> you can just set the volume to halfway once set to halfway you you tap on do, don't allow changes and they won't be able to change the volume to any higher so that's for that's pretty much it for today guys about restaurants. thanks for watching guys and um, if you want to learn more about your ipad and iphone come visit our website www.myiosguide.com you will have access to ebooks tutorials and much more articles about your ipad and iphone i will see you very soon